Some interesting examples you give around brain plasticity come from your study abroad trip in France yes. and involve <laughs> food and music. Yeah. Uh, can you talk more about this and yeah. maybe give us some tips yeah, on sure. how the rest of us can achieve this? I described this junior year abroad that I, I did in France and this was after I had learned about all the brain changes that could happen when you raise a rat in what they called enriched environments. And the, those enriched environments are again like kind of like the Disney world of environments and it literally changes the connections and the size of different brain areas. And I realized that my trip to France was doing the same thing to me because it immersed me in a completely different culture. The language was different. I was taking my science courses with all the other French students in French and having to take oral examinations in French, then that was very scary. All the new food, all the beautiful wine, I was in Bordeaux, uh, really enhanced my life, changed and, and enhanced all the different flavors that, that I experienced. And my boyfriend, Francois, was something that also enhanced my life in, in, in new ways. So in terms of tips, I think um, the one that, that I, I love to um, give has to do with um, your sense of taste and smell. So as we all know, Bordeaux is a, a wonderful region for wine. And to bring that back to the, to the brain and the study of neuroscience, there's only two parts of the brain where brand new brain cells can be born when you're an adult. One is in uh, the olfactory bulb, important for smell, and the other one is in a structure critical for memory called the hippocampus. So let's talk about the, the smell area of the brain. It's called the olfactory bulb. And they've shown in rats is that if they raise rats in what they call an enriched olfactory environment, which simply means you give them lots of different kinds of smells to smell, sometimes basil, sometimes peppermint, sometimes cinnamon, and you rotate that, and you compare their olfactory bulb to olfactory bulbs of rats that were not raised with that um, olfactory uh, enrichment, the rats with olfactory enrichment have a bigger olfactory bulb and more brain cells. So it stimulates the birth of new brain cells. And so the idea is that somebody like a sommelier that, that tastes and differentiates between wine, or, or a student who moves to Bordeaux and starts to drink a lot more wine and differentiate between wine. I was in the process of stimulating uh, the birth of new brain cells in the olfactory bulb, but everybody can do that. I'm not saying everybody go out and drink a lot of wine, <laughs> but, but you, know, you can do it with different flavors, you can do it with different cuisines, try African cuisine or Cambodian cuisine, and just start to pay attention to those different tastes and smells, and that should enhance not only your olfactory discriminative abilities, but also actually the size of your olfactory bulb.